Hello and thanks for joining me. We've been following the story of Moses. Two weeks ago we heard how he was saved from the river Nile when he was just a baby and was adopted by Pharaoh's daughter. Last week we heard him about him becoming a shepherd and God speaking to him from a burning bush which even though it was on fire was completely unharmed. God told Moses to go back to Egypt to tell Pharaoh, the king of the Egyptians, to let the Israelites go. So Moses went. But Pharaoh didn't want to let the Israelites go. The Israelites were the slaves of the Egyptians. And if Pharaoh let them go, well, the Egyptians would have to do all the work themselves. So God punished Pharaoh with ten plagues. First, he turned all the water into blood so there was no water to drink. Then he sent millions of frogs. So there were frogs everywhere, in people's houses, in their beds, in their gardens, all over the place. Then he did the same with maggots, squirmy, squishy maggots, just everywhere. And then flies just buzzing around all over the place. Next, all the farm animals that belonged to the Egyptians became ill and died, although the Israelites' farm animals were fine. Then all the Egyptians were covered in huge sores, spots called boils. But again, the Israelites were fine. Then there was a hailstorm over the whole country with huge hailstones that killed anyone they hit and did all sorts of damage to property. Then God sent millions of locusts which ate up all the crops. Then he made the whole country go dark for three days. It was so dark you couldn't see your hand if it was in front of your nose. When each plague happened, Pharaoh promised to let the Israelites go. But as soon as God stopped the plague, Pharaoh changed his mind. I mean, how silly was Pharaoh? If you say you'll do something, then don't do it. People will soon learn they can't trust you. But Pharaoh thought he could get away with doing this to God. So God sent the last, most terrible plague of all. One night, in every Egyptian family, anyone who had been their mum and dad's first child died. But God told the Israelites to eat a special meal that night of roast lamb and to put the blood from the lamb on their doorposts, then to stay in their houses all night. Because they obeyed God, their whole families were safe. This was too much for Pharaoh, and he let the Israelites go. We'll hear what happens next, next week. And if you like, between now and then, you could draw pictures of some or even all of the plagues. It's been great speaking to you. Please join me again next week. Let's finish this time together by praying. And as always, if you know the words, please feel free to join with me. Father, we thank you for the night and for the pleasant morning light, for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the world so fair. Help us to do the things we should, to be to others kind and good in all we do, in all we say, to grow more loving every day. Amen.